how worried are you that this will impact irreversibly travel and tourism in Italy, which accounts for around 13 percent of Italian GDP? Yes, good morning. Uh, but yes, we, of course, we we are a little bit worried. We we took some health measure, of course, and uh, but this is a, a serious crisis. But Italy has all the all can can take all the the measure to to avoid uh, an infection a very very bad infection so we we had okay. closed the red zone in uh, north italy but you know the the red zone it means that it's the 0.1% of the italian town and is the 0.089% of the population so it's very very little the red zone in italy now we have to uh, uh, do you, to focus of on course, this but minister do, do we need to actually make that, that zone bigger? How many cancellations have you had? Can you, first of all, give us a sense of the numbers that you have on how this is impacting, uh, you know, trips to Italy or um, number of hotel rooms booked? And do you think that the red zones will have to become bigger with time? No, the, the red zone don't become bigger, but we took some measure to, of course, to... Uh, uh, to avoid the extension of the virus. Uh, uh, so, as I told, the number of the Italian towns closed in the red zone are, re are really, really, really small. But uh, now we, uh, Milano, uh, for example, now little by little it's uh, uh, coming back a normal, normal life from uh, uh, tomorrow because the restriction uh, finished Sunday. So uh, from Monday, uh, all the, this zone, all the other zone, except the red zone, of course, will uh, back to a normal life. Uh, regarding tourism sector, uh, the, this sector has, uh, ha will have uh, a mm -hmm. lot of problem because of the cancellation, because of, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, some news that uh, give uh, bad information, because we had uh, coronavirus cases in a little part mm -hmm. of North Italy, but uh, not in all the uh, Italy country.